The problem of having to, to take a boat ride between yourself and basically the rest of the world is, is a much bigger problem in your head than it is actually in practice. It had always been a, a dream of, of my mum's to, to move to Rathlin. It always just seemed like a, like a really um, a idyllic place to live. Uh, so over there, that's Scotland, that's the edge of Scotland, and then that's Northern Ireland. We're sort of right dead in, dead in the middle between Northern Ireland and, and uh, the, the outer islands and, and stuff of Scotland. do sacrifice a certain degree of connectivity you know, uh, you know particularly from the perspective of a young person it's like um, just seeing my friends at the drop of a hat or going to see my girlfriend at the drop of a hat that's just not possible when you have to wait for for a ferry to take you over to the mainland. There's about uh, 150, 160 people um, on the island something like that. The bar would be the main community centre in terms of uh, what's going on and there's some fantastic entertainment in, in, in the bar and that's where people would sort of head to um, to have a good night out. If I want to stay out past um, six o'clock, eight o'clock at night, um, you know, which is you know getting late for, uh, back from a day out, that becomes a, an overnight stay. So very often it becomes a case of, of paying for a B&B &B room for a night or paying for a hostel room for a night. You know, if you at the end of the day have to spend um, 20 quid on a hostel room or 40 or 50 on a B&B &B room, um, that suddenly becomes a really expensive night out. My journey to school, I live um, about a five, ten minute walk from the harbour, so I'd, I'd walk over to the harbour, get the boat, which uh, would be at about 7.30 or sometimes 8 o'clock um, in the morning. Um, it would leave, go over to, to Ballycastle, and then uh, once I'm in Ballycastle, uh, uh, it would be um, by car getting, getting to, uh, onto Ballamoney where, where I, um, I was going to school. All in all, that, that journey would, would be about an hour, um, you know, which isn't, isn't too too dramatic you know it's, it's not too too tough of a commute um, and you know it's just a matter of, uh, of just taking each step as it comes. It's a way of life that's just a lot slower and a lot calmer and a lot more peaceful um, and at the end of the day I think that's a positive in the end. If you could pick now London or Rathlin Island? Rathlin Island all the way. <laughs>